Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelby if you are new um, and this video is going to be my infertility update. Uh, this past week, if she's distracting, I'm sorry, but she's being needy right now. So, um, if you are new, I would like for you to subscribe if you want to join me on this infertility journey. But I also upload lifestyle vlogs and diabetes videos as well. So, if you're interested in any of that, then join along for all the fun that we have here. Also, once it gets warmer, we're going to be taking these two to do a lot more. So that'll be super fun and exciting. She's so funny. So anyways, I just wanted to jump on here really quick and give you guys a quick update because we went to our first infertility appointment last Thursday. So I just wanted to update you guys and let you know what's kind of going on and what's going to be happening from here. So um, me and Dwight both went on Thursday just to have like a consultation and you know kind of go over everything this was our first time seeing a fertility doctor so it was kind of a little nerve-wracking and I definitely had a little bit of anxiety about it but at the same time you know at this point this is just what has to be done so they did one ultrasound they did a vaginal ultrasound to just check everything out and see you know I've never just had my uterus checked or anything like that so they did that and she was like I think I am seeing a septum so I want to do a 3D ultrasound so I was like okay and so they did that and yes I do have a septum in my uterus which is a wall so like where the uterus is supposed to be like triangular like this and then flat across the top mine is like this and then has a wall that comes through the middle of it and I am very familiar with this because my mom had it as well. Um, for whatever reason, none of my other doctors ever thought to check and see um, if that was a possibility that I could have it too. Especially since they said it's hereditary. So I was kind of pissed off more than anything that no one's ever you know said we need to check your uterus or do an ultrasound or anything like that because they would have found that a long time ago because now I have to have surgery to um, have it fit okay she's laying in my lap right now so if I keep looking at her or getting distracted this is the only way I'm keeping her quiet but I'm going to be having surgery I go back in a couple weeks hopefully we can schedule it and I'm gonna try to schedule it for the end of May when I'm already gonna be off of work for a few days so that way I don't have to take off extra um so hopefully that's that and he thinks that is definitely one of the bigger issues however that should not stop me from getting pregnant it'll just prevent me from staying pregnant so in that case there is still something else and so we are going to I'm sorry this is all over the place I didn't really write any notes down right now to film the video I'm just kind of remembering it but it's really not much just that's the biggest thing I'm gonna have surgery we're gonna be doing genetic testing on me first and then possibly Dwight he wants to do both but obviously money wise I don't know that we can do both right this second but if we can just knock me out of the way we have to do a semen analysis on Dwight which is the one thing he will be doing and um, just to check on that being the major thing with him and then with me we'll be doing some genetic testing as well as another ultrasound procedure um, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it but it's just another little procedure that's going to check on some more things um, and I will have that done before the surgery so if anything else needs to be done while they're in there they can do so after that and I will obviously keep you guys updated. I'm going to start vlogging when we go, um, or at least when I go to the appointments, if they will allow me to, just so we can kind of, you know, you can experience it with me and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, so hopefully all of those results come back okay. And he said if they do, then we will just probably do um, some kind of fertility medication. We might start out with Clomid and work our way up. I am ovulating, but um, it'll just help. 
So the only thing with that though is he really, we will do it if we have to, but he also doesn't want to up my chances for multiples because I'm already considered high risk having diabetes and I'm already up for twins in all the genetics departments from our families. So it's kind of like, you know, I would be okay with twins um, and just kind of be a one and done for a while thing. But at the same time, I do understand the risk that it's putting on me and my, you know, health and safety and just all the risks for it are, you know, not something you really want to do. Um, but it could happen either way with, with or without the fertility medication. So if that's the one thing that we need to try because everything else came back fine, then, you know, we're just going to try it and, you know, we'll just pray God, you know, keeps us in good hands and knows what he's doing with us. So that is basically the update I have for you right now. They did check to see how many um, follicles I have in each ovary and normal is three to six. And I had six in each ovary, which is really good. So we just are going to check when my next cycle comes t and throughout ovulation and all that to see how well they are growing throughout ovulation and everything like that. So yeah, that is the update I have for you guys. If you have any questions, advice, comments, definitely leave those down below. Um, follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. That is where I update you guys first mostly. Um, I know there's several that people on Instagram who have been like, where's the update? Where's the update? So here's the update and I think that we are in a good place. We are going places and getting stuff accomplished. Um, it could have been a lot worse, I feel like, but I also feel like it could have been a lot better because I could have done without the surgery, but I also knew that that was a possibility going into this. So I'm okay with it. It's a simple surgery. It's not anything crazy. A fairly fast recovery. So I think everything's going to be okay. It just stalls us a couple months, but at the same time, you know, we've waited two years. What's another couple months? Um, and it just gives us more time to prepare and, you know, get really ready for this so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up like I said comment down below I love interacting with you guys and subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for my next video bye guys